In the summer of 1962, deep within the vast, icy abyss of the Scarrison Cave in the French Alps, a man named Michel Sifre embarked on a journey that would redefine humanity's understanding of time. Alone, with no clock, no calendar, and no natural light, he descended into the Earth, determined to study the effects of extreme isolation on the human body and mind. Sifra's experiment was deceptively simple, yet profoundly challenging. He sought to live in the cave for two months, cut off from the rhythmic cycles of day and night. His only contact with the outside world was a telephone connecting him to his research team, who were under strict orders not to reveal the date or time. At first, the experience was exhilarating. The silence of the cave was almost sacred, a perfect solitude where he could focus on the rhythms of his own existence. But as time stretched on, the isolation began to wear on him. His sleep-wake cycle began to drift. Days stretched longer in his perception, and he lost all sense of how much time had actually passed. Despite the psychological toll, Sifra persisted. He occupied himself with scientific observations, noting the mineral formations in the cave and recording his body's physiological changes. When his team finally came to retrieve him, he was shocked to learn that what he thought had been a mere 60 days was actually 63. His findings revolutionized chronobiology, revealing the natural drift of the human circadian rhythm and the importance of external time cues in maintaining mental stability. But this was not the end of Sifra's self-experimentation. He would repeat similar studies over the decades, even spending six months in a cave in Texas in 1972. Michel Sifra's work remains a testament to scientific curiosity and resilience. He ventured into the depths of the Earth, not just to test his own limits, but to uncover fundamental truths about the human connection to time itself. In doing so, he illuminated the fragile yet adaptable nature of the human mind when stripped of its most basic anchors to the world above.